The jig is up. All right, I admit it. I am the Lindbergh baby. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 historical examples of the Mandela effect. Fix the locks in position. As soon as Houdini is lowered into the water. For this list, we'll be going over some of the historical events, artifacts, and figures about whom many have collected false memories, or memories that don't line up with what established history records. If there's a piece of history you could have sworn was different than the history books tell us, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Nelson Mandela's Death Arguably the most famous Mandela effect of them all, Nelson Mandela gave the phenomenon its name. The late president of South Africa passed away in 2013 of a respiratory infection. However, a shocking number of people remember him dying decades before while in prison. Your struggle, your commitment, and your discipline has released me to stand before you today. Nelson Mandela isn't even the only famous figure people remember dying before they actually died. People also remember Muhammad Ali and Fidel Castro having premature deaths. However, Mandela's death is the one that is stuck in our collective minds as the one that doesn't quite add up and which has come to represent collective false memories in general. Don't call me. <laughs> I'll call you. Number 9. King Tut's Mask King Tutankhamun is one of the most famous pharaohs of ancient Egypt, in large part due to the discovery of his tomb and famed death mask. Let your people go? I've never heard such insolence. The golden mask is an icon of pop culture and is the basis for many pop culture depictions of Egyptian iconography. Tarantula, King Tut, Orca, Killer Moth. Except, picture it in your head. What animal is on the forehead? If you guessed the cobra, you'd be correct. But if you said vulture, you'd also be correct. Many pieces of Egyptian artwork and sculpture depict just a cobra on headpieces. So it's understandable that people would forget the vulture is there too. But even so, King Tut's mask is one of the most famous Egyptian artifacts ever. How do so many people miss the bird? Bird, bird, giant eye, pyramid, bird. Mm hmm very good. Number eight, JFK's car assassination. U.S. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated during a motorcade in Dallas, Texas on November 22, 1963. It's one of the most famous assassinations in history and certainly one of the most revisited. Hey, Mr. President. Look over here! And then shots rang out. While there are many conspiracy theories regarding the events that day, one of the most bizarre involves the number of people present in the vehicle it occurred in. A lot of people remember there being only four people in the car. However, viewing the footage now will tell you there were six. The Texas governor and his wife in the middle seats are often forgotten, probably because most convertible cars aren't set up with six seats. Shots came from near that wooden fence over there, near the overpass. Number 7. King Henry VIII's Turkey Leg Painting Of the kings of England, King Henry VIII is notable for many things. The Protestant Reformation of the English Church, his many wives, and holding a turkey leg in a painting. Except that last one isn't true. I'm Henry VIII, I am. Henry VIII, I am, I am. I've been eating since 6 a.m. Despite what people remember, there is no painting of Henry VIII holding food. There's actually a royal protocol forbidding the official depiction of English royalty while eating. A few paintings do show Henry VIII holding objects that could be mistaken for bird legs, and one film memorably shows the king eating a whole roast chicken. Perhaps these were conflated in our collective memories to create the image. My name's synonymous with gluttony. I'll always eat a turkey or a ham. Number 6. The First Major Politically Motivated Violent Act on U.S. Soil When was the first act of terrorism in United States history? Many people point to 9-11, given how unprecedented it felt. Others cite the World Trade Center bombing in 1993 or Pearl Harbor, but the earliest terrorism was in 1916 on an island off the coast of Liberty Island in New York. A munitions dump was detonated by German agents, creating one of the largest non-nuclear explosions ever recorded. This event is also why the torch of the Statue of Liberty is closed to visitors, because the statue was damaged in the event. It was not widely reported, which may explain why so many are confused but it doesn't explain why some people remember visiting the Statue of Liberty's torch after 1916. Wow, Governor's Island looks so insignificant from up here. Number five, Harry Houdini's death. Houdini has been challenged 
to liberate himself from a steel straitjacket. Arguably the most famous magician who ever lived, Harry Houdini's death is perhaps less well known. Houdini supposedly could withstand blows to the stomach with preparation, and an unexpected hit to the stomach ruptured his appendix, leading to his death. However, some swear that the magician actually died in an even more dramatic fashion. This particular form of escape has never been attempted by anyone, anywhere. Some recall that the great Houdini died doing a magic trick, his famous one involving being chained underwater in a tank. While a Hollywood movie from the 50s does indeed show Houdini dying in this way, it's fiction, not fact. It's possible people just took the movie at face value. If there's any way, I'll come back. Number 4. Tiananmen Square Tank Man The Tiananmen Square protests and massacre are among the most horrifying events in recent Chinese history. Not that the Chinese government will let anyone inside the country talk about them. Tension had been building all day Saturday after some early skirmishes between students and soldiers. But while censorship inside China has led to younger people in China being unaware of the event, people outside are confused about its most striking image, Tank Man. This lone protester stood in front of a line of tanks. According to video and historical records, the unidentified man climbed on top of the tank and later left. But there are those who remember a more tragic outcome. The tank man was run down. Is someone censoring reality or is it a case of mistaken memories? Number 3. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Murder Weapon Martin Luther King Jr. was killed tonight in Memphis, Tennessee. The 60s featured several high-profile assassinations of public figures. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of these. The civil rights movement leader was killed from long range by a rifle while standing on the balcony of his hotel room in Memphis, Tennessee. However, as well known as the killing is, some remember it happening differently. At first I thought it was firecrackers. There are some who recall King being shot amid a crowd by someone with a handgun. Several famous individuals have been killed in this manner, so it's possible that King's assassination is being confused for one of theirs in people's minds. Number 2. Mona Lisa Smile The Mona Lisa is perhaps the most famous and studied painting in the world. And yet, there are many who believe that the famed portrait is not the same as it used to be. While not everyone remembers her having a veil, the biggest change some contend is that she's smiling. Some people remember Mona Lisa having a blank, mysterious expression, whose smile can only be seen from the corner of the eye. They're like the Mona Lisa, they, they find eye contact like wherever you're standing in the room. The reality of her more blatant smirk is unnerving to those who remember otherwise. Frowning woman, crazy guy, guy with one ear. Could it be a case of first seeing the Mona Lisa as children when our facial recognition skills aren't fully developed? Or is there some magic at work? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Lindbergh Baby Famously referred to as the crime of the century in 1932, famous aviator Charles Lindbergh's son was kidnapped. After several months, the body was found in the woods, and two years later, the ransom money was traced to a carpenter named Richard Hauptmann. While Hauptmann's guilt or innocence has been debated in the years since, there are still those who recall the facts of the case differently. Namely, that the Lindbergh baby was never found at all. The boy's disappearance remained a greater mystery than history recorded, at least according to them. I almost confessed to the Lindbergh kidnapping. They caught that guy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.